weather y'all I said well I got my heat on when I first go to bed then I get hot in the middle of the night I had to turn it up or down if you, we're talking about the temperature and then this morning I got I had to turn the heat off and then I still had the thing set on air in my car because when I left work yesterday it was hot but I had to hurry up and turn the heat on <laughs> You know what though? Well, thank God for provision. Thank God that we got temperatures that we can adjust so that we could be comfortable. Because God can do what he wants when he wants, right? Yeah, and then I thought about it. I said some people somewhere just got to be out there in the elements. So we really, really are blessed. Third, but my hair, I, I trim my own hat on like I did it, but y'all, third, my hair look big. <laughs> Listen. Nobody is perfect. Nobody know everything. <laughs> but I know my head is big. How y'all doing? What are y'all plans for the holiday? Y'all cooking? Y'all traveling? Y'all having a lot of family come over? Y'all look at this seatbelt strap. Oh, I need. I'm gonna take it. Um, if y'all looking for something to clean something, let me tell you. Sam sell this uh, degreaser. You put a little bit of it in the spray bottle and shake that up, man, you talking about clean? My old sofa, I had gotten that and I cleaned that thing and I didn't have an upholstery clean, I used a brush. That thing came look like new. And my, we call it the carport, y'all call it the garage. My carport had some, um, I think when I had, uh, what was that, power steering fluid leak? I poured some of that down and I, scrubbed it with a broom and I rinsed it out that thing was clean that that degreaser it really really works and I try to keep it on hand they also have a good floor cleaner it clean hardwood floors it clean wooden floors laminate all that it's real good you don't have to rinse they have a good uh sanitizer Alicia Southern Crew Riante told me about that because during COVID I paid 30 something dollars for a gallon of sanitizer from this place it's a place I showed that toilet paper Christmas tree. Well, I bought a gallon of sanitizer from there doing the uh, cold. When cold, right after we came out of lockdown, $30. But Sam sell it is not concentrated though for five something sanitizer. So yeah, um, Sam's have a lot of good products. It's commercial products, but work good in your home. They also have a liquid cleaner. I don't know, I don't think it's a, a disinfectant, but it's a liquid cleaner. It's good too. I got it, a gallon of it. And all you do is have you some good spray bottles and spray it in there. Now, if you deal, if you have like, uh, I see some people videos where they have mold and they uh, and they grout. If it's black like that, that's mold. Tylex make a mold remover, and also Mean Green makes one. You spray that and eat that stuff right up. Yeah, but um, man, I'm telling you one thing. My mama taught me. I learned. I got in the kitchen. I learned how to cook. But I also learned how to clean. She would make us take all the dishes out of the cabinet, wipe the cabinets down, put down new. We would always have shelf paper. Rinse, wash them dishes and put them back up there. Because you know, stuff sit for a long time and get dusty. You know, y'all might see me like when I'm cooking, if I use a spoon or something out of the cabinet, I rinse it out first. I see some people don't. I mean, I do because that's just what I was taught because it, it even though you wash it before you put it up, you set it up in the cabinet and you know, you just wanted to be, know it's clean. But you know, everybody got their own way of doing things. Ain't no right or wrong way. It's just the way you were taught and the way you want to do things. Some things I do, I wasn't taught. Some things I still do, I was. As you get older and you get on your own, you can make your own decisions about what you're going to do. Are you going to be traditional or are you going to start your own? Yeah, so. But y'all, I just wanted to come on here and say Merry Christmas to everybody. Um, I know some people right in my church who are suffering losses right around the holiday. Uh, like one member just buried her only son. Uh, my 
one member of our church, he's the oldest in the family, and he they buried his baby brother. Um, one of my friends, he in California, and I see he buried his mom last weekend. It's just a lot going on. It's a lot. And it's always a lot of deaths around the holidays. It is. But, you know, we got to thank God for the memories we have with our loved ones. We have to thank him for keeping us and pray for comfort. Because, I like, I, I, I keep stressing because I feel like I can help somebody by sharing my story. When my mom died, oh, y'all. Woo, Jesus, that's just an infamous. Oh, my goodness. And, and until you experience that, you don't know it. You don't know that kind of infamous until you actually lost your mom yourself. That's that's different. It is. Yeah, but it's we got two more days and then we're off on my job. We're off um Monday and Tuesday both weeks. And I'm thinking about taking um just using vacation for them three days in between Christmas and New Year. That'll give me a chance to clean the chitlins up real good. I bought one pack of this brand called Queenella. I had some concerns about it because it was in, from Mexico, but they weren't bad. They weren't broken all up into little bitty pieces and it, it, they really wasn't that bad. So I I may get some more of them and they were cheaper than anywhere I've seen. They were at Walmart for 14 something. Now they got the Aunt Bessie's. Aunt Bessie is 20 something dollars at this cost plus store so you're gonna add two two twenty dollars two dollars or something to that i was like oh i don't think i'm gonna do that <laughs> so but anyway y'all if y'all eat chillings do y'all get y'all i know a lady she get hers early and go my sister do that too she get hers early and go ahead and clean them and that way new year's night she ain't got to be cleaning no chillings well i know new year's we got church at six and i think we're gonna probably get out by 7 30 or 8 so uh i don't want to have to come home after that and clean no chillings so if I take those days off, which I think I am, then I'll go ahead and, you know, clean my chillings. I won't have to do them all at once. All right, y'all. I just wanted to stop and say hi. Welcome all my new subscribers. Um, it's all love over here. Um, it is not, I don't think it's by accident that we met. I just think that when God put people in your life, it's for a reason. I have some faithful subscribers. I don't have uh, uh, some faithful watchers. I don't have that many, but these people watch every single video, and I really do appreciate y'all. And uh, I just wish I could reach out and do something for you, but I know a lot of people don't want to share their uh, their addresses or whatever. Um, but some kind of way, we'll, 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 I'm going to do something. All right. But I appreciate y'all. Thanks for watching. Merry Christmas, y'all. change within us there is a light let him lead the way lift our hands up and pray.